Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. I want to do a Devils video talking about yesterday's game and some news that broke as I'm doing this video right now. So definitely stay with me throughout. I have a bunch of, of interesting things to talk about. So talking about the game yesterday, news broke even before the game. The puck actually dropped that uh, Miles Wood and P.K. Subban were given the A's. Um, we heard Kyle Palmieri was a healthy scratch. I'm sure all Devils fans were worried because nothing was coming out. But then we came to find out that he was added to the protocol list. So, um, you know, the Devils started this game off pretty quick. You know, P.K. Subban made a great pass to uh, McLeod, who sprung on a breakaway. Made a nice move and scored to put us up 1-0. Um, Bratt made a play where he chipped the puck towards the net. and had a little ping-pong effect off of Hughes and um, Janssen. We went up 2-0 as it found its way through um, Carter Hutton. Um, we could have been up 3 nothing, and I'm sure every Devils fan was cursing at Zaka at this point. Um, he had the puck down low. He made a, p a pass to Kwokinen, who was coming in high, and uh, Kwokinen passed it back to Zaka, and Zaka had a wide-open net that he missed. Now, upon several reviews that I watched, because I was very pissed off at this point, because, um, you know, you know what happens. You get either possibility to go up 3 nothing, or the team, the other team ends up gain gaining momentum and scoring, and that's what happened. But it did, I don't think Zaka was expecting that pass back from Kwokinen, I think it hit his stick, the heel of his stick, like they all said, and it went wide because of that. It's happened to me. It happens to everybody. So um, it was unfortunate, but the um, end result was good um, after the game. Not talking about as a result of what happened then. But then Buffalo went up 2 nothing on two uh, fluky goals. Um, Quokin made a nice chip play to get the puck to Wood. Wood skated in, had a quick shot, a rebound, scored with .7 left in the game. Gave us momentum back at that at that point. That's what always happens with those late goals. But um, Buffalo did score and tie the game. Then it was 3-3. Um, then later into the game, uh, Wood took a hit in the corner. Got the puck to Bastion. Bastion passed to McLeod. McLeod made a quick shot at the net. Found his way through. We were up 4-3. So then, of course, what happens? We have a wide open net and we can't score again. As we had five or six different shots missed the net totally. And um, you always thought in that case, they're going to tie it. We're going to lose in either overtime or shootout. But um, the puck swung around the boards, hit Zaka, went to Wood, and he scored the empty net. So I thought it was a great gutsy win from the guys. Uh, the whole team played well. Comrie played his first game and earned his his first win. Um, 30 saves out of 33 shots. Um, I love his helmet. <laughs> Talk about that. He, he made a lot of good saves to keep us in the game as well. I thought he played a pretty good game. Um, Talk about his helmet. I love the way it looks. He's showing homage to previous Devils. Uh, I had Stevens, Brodeur, Danico, and Resch on it. I thought it looks beautiful. They kept zeroing in on it. And they, they kept not showing the, the, the side that Kenny was on. They always showed the side that Stevens and Brodeur was on. So I thought that was funny. But they did show eventually with Danico and uh, Resch on the other side. But uh, Maltsev played his first game. I thought he looked pretty good. Um, but definitely the stars of the game were Miles Wood. Two goals and assists. Uh, McLeod with two goals. Uh, this line just looks awesome. This line of Wood, Bastion, and McLeod. I really like the way they look. They're three similar types of players. They all play with speed. They all like the physical game. They could hit. They could take a hit. They could chip in offensively. They're fun to watch. And Wood was asked later into the game of, of talking about them. And, um, you know, he said that they, he's been playing with them for the past couple of years. They're fun to be around. They're, they're bu best buddies on and off the ice, and it shows. And they really took a step up in their development. They're playing really well this year. So... I really like this well the line the way the line is gelling. I really like the way the the Hughes line is gelling with Brat and Janssen. Um, they look good at playing out there. They play with a lot of speed. They can find each other very nicely. So we have two really good offensive lines. So the other two lines they have to mix and match players to see what they if they can find a match with them as well. But I like the way things are going. Um, you know, coming back from those losses, we needed this big win, and it was a good gutsy win because Buffalo is a good team. I'm not going to say they're bad. They have a lot of good scorers on this team. They made a lot of overhaul to, to make a better team uh, going into this year, especially with the players they added. So it was definitely two very tough games to to get three out of four points on because Buffalo is a good competitor. So, um, you know, I thought it was a good game. I really did. Um, I like how Wood and Subban stepped up after earning those A's. They played a great game. So um, we'll see what happens going forward. Um, Chris Johnson tweeted, It sounds like the Devils are dealing with multiple cases. There may be more postponed games beyond this one. He, of course, he's talking about the Pittsburgh game. Um, and Kevin Weeks tweeted that um, the Pittsburgh game postponed for a later date, given some cases that have come up. Now, today, there have been more cases that were added to this list. Uh, Tom Galitti tweeted there was four more Devils added to the list. 
Um, the list includes Blackwood, Carrick, Dell, Janssen, Kokonen, McLeod, Palmieri, uh, Botnin, Zaka, and Zajac. Now, um, they did talk about Vonin during the game. He got his visa issues cleared, so he's on this list because he's got that waiting time to uh, go through to wait the days out in the four negative tests to come back to play. So, um, at least he got his visa issues worried, uh, worked out, so hopefully everything's okay with this. But um, the four names that were added were Janssen, Kokonen, McLeod, and Zaka. So, um, you know, as with this with everybody, you know, I hope everybody's okay, especially the players and their families. And all the organizations, as far as Devils and everybody they play against, or everybody, all of them. I hope everybody's okay in this matter, because this is unprecedented times. So, of course, with this, you always worry about the players and their families. Hopefully, everybody's okay in this situation. So, hopefully, everything's okay. But, um, yeah, that's news that broke today. And I also have news about Tom Fitzgerald. Uh, the Penguins have informed the NHL of their plan to request permission from the Devils to speak with Fitzgerald. A team and league source said they do not expect the Devils to grant immediate permission, but would keep knocking on that door, a team source said. So this pissed me off first off because, you know, there's other GMs out there that don't have a job. Look at one of them. But I know Tom Fitzgerald was one of those names that were floated around from a lot of teams that were looking for uh, a GM, and um, his name always surfaced because look at what he's doing with us now. He's made some awesome trades to bring in some uh, good draft picks, some good prospects. He's made some very crucial signings for this team. You know, he's done a very good job, and I always thought he'd be a good GM following uh, Shiro. So hopefully this isn't the case. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if he wants to go to Pittsburgh. I don't know if I'm sure. Looking at the two situations, you got to weigh the pros and cons where Pittsburgh has a team where if you can add a couple of players, I know it's going to be hard to, but um, if they can add a couple of players, whenever you have a team with Crosby, Malkin, Latang, and all those players they could win a cup. But, you know, you look at the other side, the Devils have a team that's young, up and coming, a lot of future superstars. He's going to probably want to stay here to see that go, uh, to see what we can build from that. So um, hopefully he sees that aspect of it and stay with, stays with the Devils. And I'm um, talking about Nico a bit. Um, news came out a little bit a while ago that per uh, Blick.ch, which is a trusted Swiss website. It says that he suffered a broken fibula and it wasn't confirmed. And the recovery time was two to three months, which would have landed him around February, March. So when I read this, I'm kind of like, eh, it kind of seems fitting to what he's going through. And I know it's not confirmed. It's just something that's out there, but it's possible it could have happened because, um, you know, he's looking at that time frame to come back. He didn't end up having surgery. So, um, you know, hopefully everything's all right with Nico. I remember after this previous, uh, game they uh, Matt Laughlin was talking about Nico he said he's been progressing with his uh, off ice workouts he's been skating on his own hasn't skated with the team yet so um they said that he's progressing nicely and that um his return is imminent so very soon so I could definitely see him coming back um I don't know what happens with all this protocol stuff now and how many games we miss but you could see him probably coming back around mid-February to, to early March if that's the case so um you know, he's got to get some skating in with the team, build up his stamina and, and his endurance and everything. So hopefully we see him soon. Hopefully the team comes back soon. Hopefully everybody's okay. That's most important. And their families as well. So um, comment below what you think about the situation, all of the stuff that I talked about in this video. Comment below and let me know what you think. And as always, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Smash that like button. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. Join the hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great night. Take it easy and stay safe.